Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Gupta and I work with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation, I will share with you how easy it is to customize the drop-down list sort order. As you can see, here's a sample application from AdventureWorks database where we have employees and as an employee, if you're trying to add a record, a new employee record, we have a drop-down list. It could be a contact or it could be a manager. And say, for example, by default, we have certain sort sequence for a manager, which we would like to change. In this particular case, just for the demo purpose, we have made the, uh, the drop-down list data appear in the title descending sequence, which is not the default. The default is title ascending sequence. So in case you have a need to change a drop-down list content based on certain parameter for sorting, let's see how easy it is. Of course, you will go to RSP Designer. You will open up your page. In this case, we are talking about an Add Employee page. And you will take a look at the field, which is the Manager ID. As you can see right down below, right here, it, it tells you that you are really displaying as a title field. But in reality, the field is selecting an Employee ID from an entity, order by something in some order. And all you have to do is you have to click on a query. When you click on a query, it tells you what field you're selecting, from where you're selecting. If you want to put an add where clause to filter this data, that's one thing. But the tab we are interested in is order by. And you can order by any entity in that particular table from where you are bringing the fields. So in this case, what we would like to do is we would like to, say, filter by higher date in descending order, which basically tells me I want to see all the managers, but I would like to see the most senior manager first and or the last, depending on whether it's ascending or descending. Let's see how it works. I can build it. After building, I can go back to my uh, website. And now if I click on a manager, it is still showing, probably it's not filtered. Just want to make sure. It, is still, it was waiting. Okay. Since this is a web application, it has to compile the entire application. That's why there was a delay. All right, let's take a look at the manager drop-down list now. And of course, as you can see, the data is in a very different sort sequence as it was earlier. So uh, this presentation demonstrates to you how easy it was to customize the drop-down list sort, sort order. In addition, we also shared with you that you can also filter which data do you not want to display on the sort order drop-down list, uh, on the in the drop-down list. An example would be if you want to filter out any inactive records and so on. So hopefully, folks, you enjoyed this video. It brings some uh, value uh, and keep watching for more. Thanks.